everyone, it's your Gibbs, and we're back for more Mensa Drew. Yes, that's right. Danger on Deception Island. Wow, I'm excited. Hopefully you are as well. Let's go ahead and get into this. This music is just too much fun, so let's go ahead. Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. So I'm going to go ahead and say Junior. Yes, Junior. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited. But for some reason, I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every yours, Nancy. Every yours, Nancy. Snake Horse Harbor. Did you see the little Canadian flag there? Yeah, that was basically right Katie? on the border of Canada. Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. We're going to see some whale watching? Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Uh, uh I don't know, why? Are you going to be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm going to do. We better call the sheriff. Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. <laughs> okay. I think you better call the sheriff, though. Are you sure you don't want to call somebody? Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket, and don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? All right, we're Need here. Need any help? Nope, oh. I'm all unpacked. Do I have control? It looks like I have control. I want to look around and see what's in Nancy's bag. Normal stuff. She's got some cool clothes in here. The Tattler. Mayan temples used as alien landing pads. Cacao pottery reconstructed. Beach Hill Museum, Washington, D.C. Aww. A little throwback there to our previous Nancy Drew game. I'm sure that some of you know which Nancy Drew game that is from. You should go ahead and let me know in the comments. The mini freeze. Wonder what's in here. Uh, it looks like Nancy. It's full of ice. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, let's kind of snoop around. Let's do what Nancy does best. For those of you that are familiar with me and how I play Nancy Drew games, I usually spend the first episode or two kind of poking around and getting used to the surroundings. Wow, lots of orca action here. Ooh, sandwiches! Oh, uh, Alex mentioned this to me. She's like, you know, when you get to this Nancy Drew game, you're going to be making sandwiches. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Well, let's put some tomatoes in it. Come on, tomatoes. And then I'm gonna put uh, Coco Kringle, ice cream, some jellyfish. <laughs> I think that's a sliced cheese, yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nancy's just gonna have some bologna too. Some creamy anchovies. 
Oh yeah, some habanero sauce. And a little mustard. Freedom mustard. Is that what that said? Yep. Freedom mustard. And a little mayo. I am totally gonna eat it. Eat it. Ugh. Ooh, suddenly I don't feel so good. <laughs> you gave yourself food poisoning? <laughs> All I know is I made myself a sandwich and ugh, it didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry guys, gotta go. <laughs> oh, that's a second chance? Wow. Well, I was quick. It's just like when I burned down the hotel. <laughs> oh, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Uh, let's just uh, keep it then. There we go. Throw it away. All right, fine, fine. We'll do something legit, like a little bit of bologna, a little bit of mustard. Keep it simple and get some veggies in there too. Actually, you know what? I like making all of my veggies. There. Is this better? What? How? No. Why? Ooh, suddenly I don't feel so good. <laughs> you gave yourself food poisoning? All oh. I know is I made myself a sandwich and ugh, it didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry guys, gotta go. <laughs> okay, oh, come on. That was totally legit sandwich. Fine, we'll throw it away. We're gonna try it one more time. I'm just gonna try straight uh, bologna here and see what happens. Mm. Fine, that's it. That's boring, Nancy. It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet, too! It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. All right, At least the look. person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. Oh, it's a little pipe dream action. All right. Uh, let's see here. Do I just kind of... Where do I start? That's where I start. And then we're gonna go this way. That I think looks I have to right. go up, up here, apparently. Oh, we need a bendy one. And then we're gonna need another bendy one. The color, maybe? Matters? That looks right. Hmm. Now we gotta come back around. Looks like there's a lot of pipe here. <laughs> Why is there so many pipes? That doesn't go there. Oh, maybe it's this bendy one then. And no wonder this is all going to get clogged. This thing's way too long for pipe. You do want to have a loop there, but not, <laughs> not this much pipe. That looks right. Anyways, Nancy's a plumber, so that she's going to go right. ahead and get this uh, done here. That looks right. And then we'll kind of come around town here. That looks right. And... Pipe dream's the pipe's completed. All fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. Whale World, Amy Johnson, that would be suspect number one. Do I actually have to do anything else under here? Well, we've gotten food poisoning and we did a pipe puzzle. Nancy's off to a roaring start here. Katie Firestone, Operator. Operator. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Well, what do we have here? It's an anagram uh, buster. My brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Nancy, why do you have an anagram buster on your laptop? Messenger George said to be sure to call them on my cell phone. When I got here, found a business card for Amy Johnson. This whale world place has... Oh, this sounds kind of cool. Father's Day off. Dear Nancy, I thought you'd be interested to know that your father, believe it or not, is taking the day off. He was supposed to be in court all week, but earlier this morning, a water main broke and flooded the basement of the courthouse. They turned off the electricity as safety precautions and sent everyone home. Alright, Hannah. Dear valued customer, last week we launched a new spam filter designed to prevent any of our clients from sending out huge volumes on our email. 
me at Mega Data. Sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. A DI? What's this all about? Oh, Deception Island Portable. This is some old school internet here, folks. This is what the internet used to look like. There was no Google.com back then, that's for sure. Use my cell phone to check in with Bass, find out who trashed Kitty's boat, and find Kitty's GPS. Alright, well, what's this? Town meeting to discuss Orca. Be heard, be there. Representatives of the National Marine Fishery Service are going to give their ruling. Now's your chance to express your opinion. I'm kind of curious here. I'm just feeling like Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. It's Dear Ned, effects. here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned. Okay, Nancy. Okay, enough. Enough already. Just feels like it's just a little noisy to me. Benjamin Hawkins. Come meeting to decide or discuss Arca. Nancy Drew. Coffee break. Okay, that's cool. So we did enough little snooping around here. Let's go back up. We've got ourselves food poisoned. Hi there. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. You think that could be why somebody did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. Some people don't like that idea? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. But the fishery service has the last word? They've asked me to monitor her physical condition while they study their data and decide what to do. But personally, I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Okay. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. Clever, clever. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. Okay, you stay there. Nancy has some more poking around to do. Watch your step. Stop! Me... What? This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Is it an anagram? Because we uh -oh. have our anagram, Buster. Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. <laughs> GPS mapper? I'd better tell Katie her GPS is broken. Okay. That is sad, isn't it? Katie. Oh, can I get off the, dock, off the boat here? What's up? I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh, no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. I think it's it time. It would be rude to use my phone now. You know. It would be rude to use my phone now. This is just so old school. Like, nowadays we all rudely <laughs> talk on our phones and text and all that kind of stuff. Nothing worse than sitting at a dinner table and somebody's like Instagramming or something. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Let's see if we can call. Uh, not the boys right now. We're gonna call the girls. Hello. Hey, Bess. It's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone. It's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm gonna turn down the heat under my roux. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? Uh, well, except for the fact that the boat's been vandalized. Fine, except for the fact that just before I arrived, someone vandalized Katie's boat. What? Yep. Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh, 
I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with the whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh. Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux. It's ruined. Oh, no. She wrecked her roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. <laughs> okay. Did you say gumbo? Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. She's hooked on this cooking show called Beasting for Fitness. Let me guess, it's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. <laughs> that happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Uh -huh. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. Sure, sure. What else have you cooked? Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. <laughs> anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't call the sheriff after her boat was vandalized. You think she's trying to hide something? I know she's yep. your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything, but what would she be hiding? It's possible that she ransacked her own boat so she'd come off looking like a victim. You know, to make up for her less than sympathetic behavior last night. So are you going to confront her? I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should know about this so-called friend of yours? <laughs> Katie's fine. She just has a few edgy little quirks, that's all. Great. That's probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. Whoa, Lizzie Borden reference. How are you guys fixed for hints? We're good. Just say the word. I better get going. See ya. Hasta la pasta. Hasta la pasta, indeed. Alrighty then, so what else can we do? Uh, there's something... Oh. Wow. What a mess. Hello? Know thyself? Okay, if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Easy access slide samples. Science on the go. It's a flea. Wow! <laughs> okay, Nancy. It's raw meat. Ew. Do I have to look at all these? Might as well, right? It's a feather. Ooh. It's a butterfly wow. wing. That's kind of neat. It's all dimply. Hair. Why does she have these particular samples it's beyond me? Wow! Wow, indeed, Nancy. Wow, oh wow. Well, I figure we're going to have to use this to compare something to something. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. All right. Well, we're going to have to pause. We'll be back for more Nancy Drew very soon. And hopefully I don't get too much food poisoning in the upcoming episodes. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this particular Nancy Drew game. Just go ahead and let me know in the comments. Top five, favorite of all time. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks everyone for watching. Nancy Drew's back. <laughs>